In people with higher melanin, natural higher melanin, that it's far more likely that that melanin will be coating the nucleus, yep. the cell wall of the nucleus of the DNA. Now the point about that is that um, ultraviolet light, which is often used to splice DNA, is blocked by um, that melanin. It absorbs it. It doesn't allow it in to, uh, to interfere with the DNA. And it could well be, and this is Nigel's thesis, that this was a blocker for them when they were trying to genetically alter the species. And therefore, when maybe just out of random mutation, something like an albino mm -hmm. came along, they discovered, wow, we can get straight in. Right. And it may well be that the paler skinned nation, people uh, on the earth, may be, have that pale skin because of this genetic experimentation to make things easier for them to work on human DNA. And in fact, Professor Steve Jones argues that this thing about vitamin D being, uh, pale skin being there to allow vitamin D to be absorbed and so on, all these theories about why pale skin happened in the first place, he believes it's not an adequate explanation. There is no real explanation or justification for the need for pale skin at all.